Hi, this is Brian, and I'm in the support team here at PaperCut. Today I want to discuss username aliases. Uh, with username aliases, you can assign users with a secondary username. And there's a few different use cases for this feature. And one would be assigning employee numbers to users, and another could be when user naming conventions change in the future. Uh, for example, uh, first name, last name, username could change to first initial, last name. and uh, with username aliases, a user can log into the user web page, the user client, and even the release stations just using their alias. And so in this video, I'm going to demonstrate using aliases when naming conventions change. So what you'll want to do is go ahead and open up your admin UI. And first, let's uh, take a look at the user. So we got John Zoyberg here and you can see the username is a first name last name and what we're going to want to do is just shorten that so to enable the feature just click on options click on advanced and we'll come on down here to right here this section and click on the enable button and apply and then the next step is going to be to assign the, the alias to the user and we can do that by opening up the user details and in this box, the username alias box, we'll just type in the, uh, the new alias. So that's going to be J Zoyberg. So go ahead, click on OK. That'll save that. And then we'll want to go ahead and test this out. So. On this uh, VM, I just have another user set up, but this would normally, you know, be in a client server environment. So let's uh, log into this user, and here we go. We got uh, got the document here that we want to print, and go to file, print, printer selected, and click on print, and that should be off, but to see that we actually can log in to the user web page using the alias for the user so here we go type in the password and log in and here we go uh, jobs pending release and there's that print job we just sent so I'll go ahead and print it and off it goes so just log out and let's go back over to my admin account where we can see the print job in PaperCut. So let's go ahead and open up this user and we'll go to job log. And so here we go. This is, uh, this is the one we just printed. And so you can see that we had logged in with a user with a different username, but it is actually charged to the full username here. Um, so, oops, yeah, go back there. So there it is, that's that print job. So this can be used mainly for that kind of setup where a shortened username is used, but you can also use it for authentication. So this is just an example of using uh, aliases for one user, but this can be applied on a wider scale uh, for all the users in your organization. Uh, you can pull these in using Active Directory or sync them in using a uh, user uh, import. Uh, but yeah, that, that's it. If you have more questions or need any more information, please feel free to visit the, the URL at the end of this video or email support at support at papercut.com. All right, thank you.